All right, what we have here is a 250 watt metal highlight outdoor security light fixture. I believe it was made by Forum Incorporated. I don't know the model number. It appears to be 120 volts. Like a nylon type installation. It's kind of sticky. Four screws to hold the glass shield on. It's got a bulb in it. But I don't know if it's any good or not. But we'll find out later. Got the mounting bracket here. You can see how they got the wire ran. Loading it with the nylon insulation through the mounting bracket into there. I'm going to replace this anyway so I can plug it in. So my plan for this is I'm going to mount it to the wall behind the computer, like somewhere up there. And this is going to be like a makeshift security light, or not security light, studio light, for like uh, lighting up this room. If I want to make videos and stuff, just get some more lighting because it's dark in here, even though I got multiple lights. Here's the back of it. Got the little Allen screw there, which locks it into place so you can't pivot it. That I'm going to take off so I can angle it. The gasket is still good, it's like foam weather stripping. That's still good. Four screws which hold the shield on. I'm going to open it up anyway. The thing is quite heavy. So, let me remove the shield and we'll be back. All right, got the four Phillips screws removed, and this shield can come off. See, so you got the foam weather stripping there, which is still good. Set down so it don't break. Here's the bulb. See, I'm not sure if it's good or not, because you see it's like almost completely black. Got some fog in there, so chances are this bulb is not any good. Got a Mogul base or E39. Yeah, Forum Ink yeah, Forum Ink E46189. You are listed HID fixture issue number 59721. Suitable for damp locations. 60 Hertz. Doesn't list the voltage, amps, or watts. But it's 250. At least that's the bulb that's in here. Screw it. So that's your mogul base, which is bigger than your standard E26. E26 is like what's in that fixture there. These are an E39. Let's see how black that arc tube is. I don't think this is any good. But we can try it. Hopefully it don't blow up. So put that down, put that down somewhere. Now I need to open this up so I can check out the ballast. Verify it's 120. Plus, like I said, I gotta replace the uh, power cord anyway. See, that's the socket. So let me pause and figure out uh, how this thing comes apart. All right, got it apart. Move these three screws, but that ain't coming off. So I moved two screws in here, got this off, and there is no ballast. This thing requires an external ballast. So I gotta order a 250 watt ballast, because those are the bulbs I have on order. Insulation's a bit sticky, but I could just replace this whole wire to an extent up into here. Or I could just get a whole new mogul base. So, I gotta get a ballast for this thing. So much for that idea. So, I'll go ahead and order that stuff.